Good morning and immediate apologies to my neighbors because Audi R8, cold start. We're taking the R8 this morning and we have a helmet. That's a clue to where we're going. So we are heading to Autobahn Country Club. It's about a two hour drive. And I just realized I don't think I've ever actually been there. It's one of those car condo, racetrack, garage facilities. I've heard really good things about it. We have an invite from Team Stradale to come down to check out their facility. Uh, we're getting a ride along on the track and some radicals, I believe. And I think there might be go-karting. And I am supposed to get some one-on-one -on -one time with a very, very special car that I'm quite excited about. So absolutely worth making the drive down taking the R8 out. The weather's supposed to be pretty nice today. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that sound. arrived, checked in, got our uh, waiver sign in. Looks like Team Strally is right there. Check those out, Radical SR3s. I think that's the highest volume model they made. Open air, we'll track monsters. We are here, slightly late, but better late than never. Oh boy, this is race car heaven. Copy paste Radicals. All right, we're heading upstairs. We've arrived in the Team Stradale garage and I am surrounded by radicals. Most of them are SR3s. We'll be getting suited up, helmet, all the safety gear, and then we're going out in ride-alongs and SR3s around the track. Again, I've never been to Autobahn. There's two track configurations. Haven't driven on it. Haven't, this is my first time here. So that ought to be exciting to experience it. I have had some track experience. Recently, we're at Pit Race in the Z06, which was a ton of fun. But these are gonna be a whole different kind of ball game because they weigh essentially nothing. Like, I am going to upset the weight balance by like 20% because I weigh 20% as much as the vehicle and they're just full out open cockpit race cars. So that is going to be an experience. I don't think I'll be able to get much audio in the vehicle. So we'll have some camera angles, but it's going to be loud. It's going to be fast, windy. I'll have a helmet on. So you just watch and enjoy and we'll continue sharing what this is like and talk a little bit about what Team Stradale does. And then we're going to find that super special car somewhere. Talk about variety. We've got a lineup of radicals here and then this. I don't even know what that is. That's an old Alpha 600 LT 812, which I think is my friend's because he's one of the few people in the world that are able to get purple over yellow. We saw this car at Iron Gate. I'm pretty sure this is his old car. And then this. I don't know old race cars, but I'm assuming these are two very valuable old race cars. Some sort of Nissan race car. Okay. Speciale 992 GT3 and oh, I see it. I think I'm allowed to go back there, but I'm gonna go back there regardless. Another, oh, be on the BM1. Mouse Motors. That is another. If you don't follow them already, check out Mouse Motors on Instagram, on social media. They have some insane cars. Oh, oh, oh God. I came here for the radicals, right? I'm gonna get a ride along experience. That's gonna be fun, but. This is one of the big reasons I came here. Oh, Pagani Zonda R. I'm gonna get some time with this later to do a walk around video. It's not hitting the track today, but what a machine. Oh my God. Oh geez. I don't know how to convey how much I love Pagani's. It's like my pinnacle dream car brand. I mean, I had to wear the shirt that I got at Quail this year, the Wyra. I've been in a Wyra BC, a Wyra Coupe, courtesy of Sparky and VTM the King. That was one of my lasting automotive experiences. I, those cars are just works of art. But this here, the Zonda R. Oh. 15 in the world, we're getting some time later to do a bit of a video with this, whole separate video. This is the vlog documenting the overall experience today, coming to Audubon Country Club with Team Stradale, the radical ride along. I think we're go-karting later. So yeah, these are, these are good days. I mean, this was worth taking a day off of work. Use a day of PTO to come down to Audubon Country Club. Radical's rolling out. I am now in a race suit. We're gonna drive over to the south pit. <laughs> Just chaos, racetrack chaos. That's, that's always fun. Shelby 350R. 
heck yeah, on the carbon wheels. Weather's actually quite nice today too. This week is supposed to be nice. It's getting cold while snow soon, which makes me unhappy, but it's okay. I have a rear wheel drive R8 for the snow with winter tires. I'm dead serious. They sound pretty awesome going by. Small displacement, but that is... What the heck is that? an out lap, a hot lap, and an end. So we'll get a quick experience on what it's like to be in a radical. I'm ready to experience some serious G-forces. Uh, we'll have some GoPro set up and we'll use those clips right now. Ready to go. Yeah, Don't yeah. step on anything outside, so. I'll just step right on into it and then watch for the fire bottle that's in there. You're just gonna wanna put your legs over it. Okay. That's pretty much it. You're asking me to be graceful. And... <laughs> You're okay. You're good. This thing makes cup cars look like practical family sedans. experience the g-forces and then the fact that it's open air open cockpit that adds to the everything right there are cars that are fast or faster and like i've been in cup cars and really fast street cars but 
just riding passenger in that. That was visceral. The G-forces, the noises, just the overall experience. I can't imagine what it's like driving one of those things. It's gonna make go-karts, like a shifter cart, feel slow. My R8 might as well be an Audi A3 at this point, and I don't know how you drive road-based cars after getting to spend time in race cars like that. Radicals, man. That's a lot of fun. That, that is a badass machine. It also really shows how you just lightweight, right? Lower weight, you don't need a ton of power, and less weight means you can handle better, turn better, brake better, accelerate better. All these new road cars getting heavier and heavier, they're not gonna be able to do things like this. Now, I know I'm comparing like an actual like open, open cockpit race car, but. <laughs> More race car things. The whole front clamshell just comes off. You can see the rear clamshell too. Look at that. Race slicks. It's like a full race team here with Team Stradale for support. You can do a ride and drive. They've got training. It's a driving school. Academy car, Team Stradale Racing with Radicals. Imagine learning to track drive in one of these. I might need to uh, shuffle some funds around and try to make, make this happen because that was, that was pretty awesome and it's always better to have more skills and experience, right? Driver mod's easier than buying a faster car. You get the seat molded to you like a race steering wheel. And then look how close like the passenger would sit to the driver. Like we were like touching shoulders. I was trying to get out of the way of the driver so I don't impinge upon his need to steer and drive the car. We're checking out race operations and 28 different camera views of the entire track. That's, this is surveillance view. You can zoom, pan, pretty much see every detail of it. It's pretty cool getting a behind the scenes look at the viewpoint of the track from all different angles. Today is a very exciting day. We are here with Team Stradale and Francesco himself. Introduce yourself. I'm Francesco Davila of Team Stradale out here at the Autobahn Country Club. And what, what, what is Team Stradale? Tell us about that. So Team Stradale uh, basically came, uh, was born out of necessity through um, education first. So when Autobahn started, we had a lot of um, people coming out with cars and, and kind of uh, directionless, not knowing really where, which way to go okay. with their car. And, and what car to have on track, and and we started with coaching. Then we grew to a full-blown SCCA and NASA-sanctioned licensing school. Okay. So now we can license people to get on the racetrack. Okay. But it's not just for competitors. We host uh, classes for people that just want to go out and have fun on the track. We're surrounded by currently a sea of radicals. Yeah. So tell me, why radicals? Why are there so many radicals here? <laughs> we were looking for a product that was purpose-built mm -hmm. um, because people were coming out with the, their Ferraris or their mm -hmm. Corvettes, BMWs, and they were tracking them and then driving home. And some people didn't make it home because their brakes <laughs> you know, over, yeah. you know, overheated or yeah. something like that. So we really were in search of something that was purpose-built, uh, made for the track, born as a track car. Really, we fell upon uh, Radical because we wanted something to share the experience. And as you can see in most of these cars, they're two-seaters. Yes. So we wanted the ability for a coach to ride mm -hmm. or a friend to ride so you can mm -hmm. share that experience mm -hmm. throughout the day. It's crazy. I mean, the G-forces, the open air experience, all of that. And you're also sitting like this close to the driver. I'm like trying to get out of his way as you're trying to steer. I mean, it's crazy. Team Stradale, thank you so much. Yeah having me out here, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been, absolutely. It's a blast. This is actually my first time at Autobahn Country Club and what a way to start off. This was just a taste. Yes. You can do a full-blown driving school in the Radical. You can always improve your driving skills and I know I, I would love to improve my driving skills, more experience, more time, and that's the best way to get faster. It's not buying a faster car, it's not modifying your car, it's making you a better driver. Right. And I absolutely want more time. I've got a, I've got a Z06 coming and I do want to track that and I want to be skilled behind the wheel. So Absolutely. it should be fun. Team Sardali on all the social media, on YouTube, you guys just went the radical to tour. I saw that video. Yeah. That looked like fun um, on social media. And thank you. It's been a cool day. We're getting a tour of Autobahn Country Club. Again, this is my first time coming here. They have two tracks, north and south. They can combine them. They host events. There's races here for members. It is a membership-based club, but it can also be open for rentals. And there's all sorts of events that happen. There's the go-karting track. We just checked out the uh, the main members clubhouse. I actually just met two members who, who recognized me from some of these videos, which is also cool. Talk to those guys. They had their GT Force out here. It's really cool. Everybody's been super nice. Um, I would love to join something like this, but my big concerns are one, I'm not home that much. Two, it gets cold half the year, so the club is only open seven months of the year. The track is running seven months out of the year. Also, obviously there is a cost 
uh, associated with it. Racing is expensive. Cars are expensive. Are there more expensive hobbies? Absolutely. Are there more fun hobbies? Probably not, because cars are just awesome. They connect people. I mean, it's been a great time hanging out with these guys, getting to see these cars, experience them, and yeah, it's 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 a good day. I need to I need to find my way to Audubon Country Club more often. This looks like the shop. Nicely well illuminated. A lot of uh. Radical front clamshells here. Whoa, that's cool. Tires on tires on tires. This looks like somebody shrunk a Mazda Miata, but it's actually a Suzuki Cappuccino. Right hand drive. This is a tiny little K car. Like, it's minuscule. There is so much going on in here. So many cool radicals. I don't know what this is though. I, I doesn't have a logo, but not one that I recognize. It is all carbon fiber and it's actually right hand drive. It's a two-seater, but it's right-hand drive, and it's all exposed carbon fiber. Clearly some sort of track special race thing. I don't know what it is. There was a crashed radical there, so it looks like somebody had an unfortunate incident. They'll be tearing that down, fixing that up, so that's pretty cool to see there. This one is an engine out right now. You'll see, this is, this is what powers a radical. This tiny little engine, but because it weighs like 1,500 pounds, Fully, like loaded with fluids and like people like it doesn't need a gigantic engine so that's what runs a radical I think that one is one they were driving on the street but that one's road legal but I think it's missing a couple key components but <laughs> the shop here at Team Stradale. It has been a pretty phenomenal day. We got to tour the facility. We went out in the Radicals and then finished up go-karting. And I was standing there chatting with some of the guys, got to talk to Francesco. And now for probably another highlight, it's time to spend some time with the Pagani Zonda R, which is gonna be epic. Whole separate video on that one, so make sure you go check out that video because it's gonna be Eddie losing his mind over Pagani Zonda R for 15 minutes because that's just one of the coolest cars in the world. A carbon fiber track monster with a six liter naturally aspirated V12. Does it get any better with a wire R, but this is crazy. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check out Team Stradale. This was a really cool day, kind of in Paul's spur of the moment, but first time at Audubon Country Club, definitely a highlight. A lot a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.